Right, so this is my little <coughs> uh, video recording of some of the things that I have set up in PHP Storm. Uh, just to give you an introduction of some of the things that you can do. Um, <coughs> so, everything happens mostly in settings. Um, there's a few things that aren't happening in settings, but I'll show you those in a second. So, plugins that I have installed, um, default by, uh, by default I have Laravel installed for Laravel projects. Obviously, I'm using the material theme, which I find quite um, handy. Um, I also have the PHP inspections plugin. I, I have purchased a license for the EA Ultimate version, but there is a EA extended version, which is free. Um, I would suggest trying the extended version if you're happy to <coughs> then upgrade, speak to your boss or whoever to get uh, to get the paid version. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, and then I have this thing called Waka Time, which I'll explain in a second. And then I have some various other sort of things that the plugin suggests. Most of the ones that I've installed <coughs> myself are at the top here. Um, then one of the first things I do is I set um, my code style. So under editor code style PHP, you can set it per project or by default. I usually do everything per project because I work in Laravel and WordPress. Um, so I have it set to per project. And then in um, a Laravel app, I say set from PSR 1.2. Um, you could also just select Laravel lately, uh, which is a new upgrade, <coughs> a, a recent update to, uh, to PHP Storm. Um, if you're using WordPress, you can select WordPress. So I always have that set. Um, <coughs> it's quite handy. Then the other thing I have set up is I'm using um, this new font that the folks at uh, JetBrains released. It's called JetBrains Mono. So under Editor Font, you can specify the JetBrains Mono font. Um, it's quite a nice, I find it to be quite a nice font to work with. Um, and you can set sizes. I usually have mine set to 14 um, on my laptop and 12 on my desktop because I have a bigger screen on my desktop. Um, <clears throat> then the other things that I have is mostly code quality stuff. So under languages and frameworks, PHP quality tools. Um, I haven't got the mess detector or the CS fixer set up. Um, PHP inspections does most of that for me, but I do have the code sniffer set up. Um, so usually you would need to install PHP CS, uh, which is the PHP code sniffer executable. Um, I have written, I'll show you the link quickly. I have written a blog post on how to set this up uh, for the WordPress coding standards on Ubuntu. Um, I'll include the link in the description of this video. Uh, it works the same for um, Laravel, uh, you know, PSR 1 or 2, whatever. As WordPress, but this is the basic setup. Um, <clears throat> so have PHP code sniffer set up. If you don't have it in your path, you might just have to go looking for it in your path. Um, process timeout I leave to default, and these things I leave to default as well. Once you've done that, then you need to go to something called inspections, which I can never remember where it is, so I always just search it. Um, there we go, editor inspections, and again you go down to uh, quality PHP. Uh, quality, I think it's called somewhere. There, quality tools. Uh, and there's the code sniffer validation. Um, and then you select your coding standard. So I have mine currently set to PSR2. Uh, they don't have one for Laravel. Uh, you could set it to 12 if you want to go that high, but I usually have it set to PSR2. On a WordPress project, I have it set to WordPress Extra, which WordPress, you have to uh, install the coding standards yourself, which is part of that uh, article that I just shared. Um, there isn't one for Laravel, so I just have it set to PSR2. Um, and then you can, at this point, you can click here on the PHP code sniffer link, which will take you back to setting it up. So you got to make sure both of those two things work. Uh, and then what that does is while you're writing code, it actually tells you when you're writing bad code. Um, so those are the main things that I have set up for every project. <clears throat> then getting into the actual writing of code, um, just to show you what some of these things do. So let me just find a random controller. Um, let's just take the parent controller. So if you write, for example, <coughs> a function in a class and uh, give it a name um, and write it badly, then you get these lovely little squiggly lines and the PHP code sniff it says to you things need to change. If 
function closing brace must go on the next line following the body, blah, blah, blah. Um, up here, if I mouse over, it'll give me opening brace should be on new line and visibility must be declared. Um, so what I can do now is if I control Alt and L, it'll A, refactor the for me according to code surface standards. So that's, that's the um, code style stuff happening. Um, but then it also tells me visibility must be declared on a method. So now I know I need to add public uh, or whatever visibility to my class method. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it also says here what it's saying here, closing brace must go on the next line following the body. So it's basically saying do that. Um, no, okay, it's because there's no code there. Uh, so if we do something like that, take that one away. Uh, this one it's saying to me void can be declared. This is So this is, you'll see, it says the EA. So that's uh, PHP inspections uh, saying to me we can declare void. So declaring a return type hint is a fairly new addition to PHP. And the nice thing is I can just hit you declare the return type. Boom, and it'll put the return type in for me. Um, then it'll do things like, okay, so in PHP Storm, if I just open up a doc block and I hit enter, if there were, sorry, let's actually do that. So let's give it some, some parameters. Um, and buzz. Um, in PHP Storm, once I've written my function, if I want to add a doc block, I just start the doc block, hit enter, and it'll put the parameters in for me. If I change a parameter name, the um, PHP doc will actually like warn me. I think I've got a PHP doc. I think this might this might be PHP Storm, or it might be I've got a PHP doc checker plugin installed, or it might be a default PHP Storm thing. So I can actually it'll tell me, hey, there's a problem there. Um, update the doc comment. Boom, we're done, which is quite nice. Um, that's my phone going off. So we'll just disable that for now. Um, turn that off. Okay. Um, then if I do things like this, if I say uh, Bob equals so let's say bar equals something. Then you'll see it'll actually like start commenting this out because I'm, I'm using the parameter, so I could actually remove the parameter, which is kind of nice. Um, various other things I can do. I'm going to worry about that now. Uh, then other things. So you can say if bar equals to Bob, um, and it'll actually give me some warnings there. It'll say. Uh, blank line found, expected one space, and please consider using the more strict blah, blah, blah. So there's some things we can clean up there. Um, if we control Alt L, it'll do the, the code formatting cleanup. We have to manually fix the code ourselves. So we pop that in. Um, and now it's giving me one last error and it's saying blank line found. So we'll just need to put some code in. And there you go, ready to rock and roll. Um, statement is empty. So I know that it's empty because I'm writing code. <clears throat> the other cool thing is it'll tell you things like this. So if bar equals bob return true, don't know if this is going to work. Uh, else turn false. And you'll see it's giving me a whole bunch of issues here and it's saying use return instead. So the construct can be replaced with blah, blah, blah. So we do that and it'll actually change the code for you, which I think is pretty cool. Um, return value is expected to be void. Now we're returning a Boolean. So now it'll say change it to a Boolean. There we go. Now these change. So now we update the return tag and there's our code fixed. So we made a code change and the combination of all the plugins and things that we had improved our code through a bunch of clicks. And that's one of the reasons I love all these things. Um, so that was the code sniffer stuff working, the, the PHP um, EA extensions plugin doing its thing, um, which, which I think is really, really cool. <clears throat> then you can do things like this, where if you say something like, let's say uh, payment gate, way equals new and we want to use the payment gateway this is just php storm picking up that there's a service called the payment gateway service so we'll use that oh wait hang on i'm going to go like this and go app services payment gateway <clears throat> then it'll actually say hey this code can be removed so we remove it and it'll then uh, pop it in there if we tick this out you come back to here it says oh there's a problem undefined class, import the class, and you can import the class, and then boom, there it is. So that's another thing that PHP Storm does really, really nicely. Um, so those are the main tips and tricks that I use um, that helps me improve my code. So it's the code the code sniffer setup, uh, the code style setup, and the EA extent, the PHP EA um, inspections plugin. Um, the Waka time thing is just like a, like a code um, timer, if you will. <clears throat> so you install the plugin, you set up your API key, and then it gives you, uh, let me just log in here. I think I'm logged in with GitHub. Actually not sure. Um, 
yeah so it gives you like what you've been working on so there you can see all the different kinds of projects i've been working on there you see castos and series admin so this is a nice way for me at least when i forget what i've done the previous day um, i can go and have a look and see what i've worked on so this is really cool sort of time tracking uh, especially if you spend most of your time um, in your in your php store uh, cool that's about all I can think of now. Oh yeah, the other thing that I discovered recently, which I quite like, is I can put this window on the um, right-hand side. So you can say move to wherever you want it. By default, it's left top. But if you click on the little three dots, you can say move to uh, right top, which I think is really cool. You can Alt-1 to close this. No. Sorry, once it's closed, you can Alt-1 to get it back. Um, you can search anywhere in your project by hitting Shift twice, and then just start typing. So if I want to work on the admin, controller it'll start and there's the admins controller so that's quite a cool piece of functionality that i use quite a lot um, <clears throat> if you alt 12 it'll pop up the con the console window which is quite nice if you just need to run console commands on your project uh, i quite like the local console um, and yeah that's about it is the default sort of stuff there's one other thing that i have installed but i'll do a separate video on that xp xdebug stuff uh, but yeah that's that's my basic uh, suggestion of things to set up uh, if i find anything new to add i'll add it to a future video but uh, hopefully this will get you if you haven't done these things already this will put you in a nice spot where your php storm is way more powerful and way more useful than it is by default